Hey guys, it's Molly. I am here to do a reading. Let's see who is this for. Who is this reading for? Who is this for? Whoa, look at that Capricorn. Right on there, right on curiosity. Hmm. All right, Capricorn. I'm supposed to show you my ring. I did my best cannonball into your life and it caused a wave so big that it pushed you too far away. Hmm. Swan dives from now on, my loves. Oh, but I can't. My cannonballs are way too magnificent. Mm. Capricorn, my name is Molly. I'm a clairaudient intuitive empath. I'm channeling right now. Anything I say is part of your message. I'm going to shuffle the cards and see what pops. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, Spitting and a wishing well. Mm. Blown to hell. Crash. I'm the last splash. Mm. Mm. I'll be your whatever you are. The bong in this reggae song. Mm. Mm. sent in a hidden butterfly ooh, 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 ooh. a special special kiss to give you endurance uh, resurrection change hope in your life this hidden butterfly may have been a cannonball Okay, this may have come up to uh, help somebody. Uh, okay, and the alarm is going off. Okay, so the universe had sent in this hidden butterfly, this cannonball, <laughs> to shake up the life. Uh, the cosmic elephant is a big shakeup brought on by the divine. Uh, we had possibly, uh, okay, so the feminine may have some kids. She may be around uh, a toxic masculine energy. All right. <sighs> Spitting in a wishing well. Uh-oh. Blown to hell. Crash on the last splash. Okay. So uh, somebody may have needed a wish. The universe sent in a wish. There may be a musician. 
Okay, but somebody spit in the wishing well and they didn't hear the noise. Okay, they didn't realize. Okay. Now they're trying to strategize something. Okay. Because they want to come back together with this person uh, in friendship, growth, trust, and love. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this person went into their emotions. All right. All right. Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorn, you and your person uh, did have a big albatross in their life. All right. So the albatross was a psychological burden, a curse, a penance, an omen of good or bad luck. And uh, the universe sent in the cosmic slingshot to take, take out this curse. Okay, so the cosmic slingshot is a sudden shift in energy that was brought on by the divine. So this is a, a, a divine thing. Uh, you may be clearing out uh, family curses. You may be feel, clearing out something. And a curse sounds, you know, the word curse sounds pretty hardcore, Capricorn. But uh, curses are things like... Uh, addictions, uh, obsessions, um, anything negative, toxic people, uh, things like that, um, depression, um, low self-esteem, all those kind of things. So the universe said enough is enough. Uh, they sent in the cosmic slingshot to knock out this albatross. Okay. Uh, the purpose is to uh, bring in the, the swamp frog. The swamp, swamp frog is cleansing, rebirth, purifying, renewal, new beginnings, and truth. Uh, the universe absolutely wants you to have a cleansing new beginning. Okay. There was some sort of empty cup relationship that uh, was an angry rooster. So, uh, um Okay, somebody may have spit in the wishing well. Okay, so somebody may have uh, not felt this connection. They may have uh, uh, got blown to hell. Okay, and now they're mad. Okay, so somebody may have... Uh, okay, an empty cup is unfulfilled, unsatisfied, unhappy, incomplete, undeveloped. And the angry rooster is noise, frustration, annoyance, failure, resentment, and setback. Okay. So somebody may have realized they had an opportunity or something, uh, and they may have, like, spit in the wishing well. Okay. Uh, the, uh, we have one person showing up here as the fiddler, as the musician, okay? This is a fun, happy person. This person likes to play and joke and laugh and banter. They're jolly and amusing, okay? Um, and then with them came Anchor, and Anchor is hope, steadfastness, new adventure, voyage, and trust. So I feel like like maybe somebody spit in the wishing well and the other one like went on the adventure or went forth or uh, uh, they trust they did have trust in the universe okay on this new adventure a lot of times this is my divine feminine and my divine masculine and the masculine has stopped to uh, 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 I know you, uh, real cuckoo. Okay, so the masculine has stopped to smell the rose, okay? Okay. Aren't you cuckoo cannonball? Okay, so this masculine may have been holding back some sort of secret, something that he's uh, mystery, confidential information, unknown riddle. He wants to release it. He wants to let it out. He may be just wanting to tell this feminine, I want you cuckoo cannonball. He may think you're kind of cuckoo. He may think you're kind of... Uh, you cannonballed right into his life, but now he realizes uh, 
He wants you, cuckoo cannonball. All right, because your cannonballs are so magnificent. Okay. And he sees you are a hidden butterfly. Okay, there goes the alarm again. All right, so let's clarify. Let's clarify. What does... I have a mini tarot deck in here, and it's just words, and it has specific uh, things that each each of the cards want to tell you. So let's see what the Cosmic Slingshot and the Albatross, what the tarot wants to tell the Cosmic Slingshot and the Albatross to Capricorn. The Five of Pentacles, delays around money, coming in from the cold. Okay. So the universe is uh, ready for this uh, psychological burden, delays around money, filling out in the cold. They're ready for it all to be over. So they're for sure sending in this change. Okay. What does the Swamp Frog have to tell Capricorn? Ooh, the devil. Jealousy or trouble. Able to break the chains that are binding you or holding you back. So fantastic, remember? This is cleansing, rebirth, purifying, renewal. So, uh, you know, the universe is sending in this cosmic slingshot to you or your person uh, to release this psychological burden, this five of pentacles feeling this and to break these chains that are binding them and holding them back they may have jealousy issues with jealousy or something like that but the swamp frog with this and the wording remember we're going by the wording they're able to break the chains that are binding all right fantastic so what does the empty cup and the angry rooster vibe have to tell capricorn remember this vibe unsatisfied and pissed off about it the six of cups okay happy house and childhood memories okay so this person may be pissed off because they're not with their person they're not with the cannonball okay all right uh, they understand what this connection was. They may have spit in the wishing well, though, and now they are worried they screwed it up. Okay. So Six of Cups relationship for sure is a soulmate. It's uh, somebody from your past. Somebody, if it's not uh, from, like, your past, they make you feel like the past. You may feel uh, like somebody, like, you know, like old childhood friend. All of a sudden you feel, like, really comfortable around this person and they're realizing this now, okay? What does the anchor and the fiddler have to tell Capricorn? Remember, this is this fun musician who keeps hope and uh, this fun, and it doesn't have to be a total, like a musician, somebody who music is important to this person. Okay, this is a king of wands. This is a masculine energy over 25 years old. They may have, now this is a general read, so they, um, they won't have all of these, but they may have green eyes, blonde to red hair. They may be restless or outspoken or very ambitious. This just may be a fiery person, Capricorn. Okay. What is uh, trust? Have to tell Capricorn. The Fool, okay, good friends, happiness, needing to take a giant leap forward, all right. So the universe is for sure saying, trust in this new thing, uh, trust in good friends and happiness, and needing to take this leap forward, all right. The universe, I think that's like, trust that this secret or whatever needs to be released as well, okay. So what is that, birdcage and secret have to show Capricorn? The Page of Pentacles, okay. So this may be uh, a young woman, uh, like 20, about 25 years or younger, or a, a student, a male or a female person, okay? But what this also is, the Page of Pentacles, is somebody is just learning something. They're watching something, all right? So if it's not a young person or a student type thing, 
Uh, it is somebody's watching something. It's giving them the urge to release some sort of secret. They're like learning. It's like they're learning on how to be a better person. They want to advance beyond this like uh, childish mindset. They feel like to do that, they have to release whatever this secret is. Okay. And what does the hidden butterfly, remember this? This special secret, this cannonball that just got dropped into somebody's life. All right. What does this have to tell, Capricorn? I'll put it right in the middle here. Hidden butterfly for Capricorn. The Four of Swords. All right. Sickness, bad illness, needing to take time out, rest and relaxation is needed here. Okay, so this person may have just been really struggling, even uh, spiritually. This may have been something that the universe dropped in to really uh, let this person... Uh, Heal. This the Four of Swords is the healing card, and this is resurrection, hope, change, life, kiss, and a surprise. So, this person really had to heal. They may have had some sort of soul sickness. They may have uh, been very depressed. Uh, they needed they needed to take time to rest and uh, heal. All right, Capricorn, uh, there is your message. Okay, I'm going to close it out with the green oracle. So what I'm going to do, Cappy, is I'm just going to shuffle the card here on my thigh so I don't blow all these cards away. And then I'm going to pop one card. I'm not going to say anything about this card. I'm just going to let you look at it and use your own intuition. We're going to practice on you using your own intuition because intuition is a very important skill to flex on. All right. So what does the green oracle have to tell Capricorn? You just take your own message from the visual, Cappy, whatever it is. Whoa, there it is. All right, Capricorn, there's your reading for today. I'll find that song and I'll put it down in the comments. Uh, if you like how I read, you can uh, hit like and subscribe. You can join the Star Gang. It's totally free. We're learning life lessons in just a fun and different way. Uh, if you'd like to cruise my Etsy shop, I sell all sorts of decks, including this one here. Uh, I also sell jewelry and gifts and all sorts of fun stuff. There's a link in the, in the description area there. All right, Capricorn, peace out. Have a great day. Oh, oh.